Okay, so today we will be learning different lighting techniques to use within your anime scene. I won't be talking about the basics of lighting like fill lights, rum lights and so on, since there are already many tutorials on that. Today, we are going to focus on methods that make your scene look more like anime. So the first thing we are going to do is learn how to light up an environment with sun lamps, giving it that stylized edge anime films normally have. The second method will be how to fake lighting in the shader editor. I've done something similar to this in some of my other tutorials, and I'll link some of them in the description down below. The third method will be how to use shadows to create more interest in an already lit up scene. There are of course more methods besides these three, but I think these are some of the best ways to take your anime scene to the next level. Without any further ado, let's begin. This first method is actually the technique of one of the people on the Discord, Sumi. He has his own YouTube channel as well, which I'll link in the description. Alright, here are my render properties if you'd like to follow them. Take note that the higher your cascade shadow is, the higher quality your shadows will be. Okay, so this technique involves using three sun lamps. The first is our main sun, set the highest, so in my case I will set it to the strength of 3. The second sun I'll change to a red color and set its strength to 1. Now the important part is to set the angle of this red sun lamp to 5. This will allow some of the red light to seep into the mesh's shadow, as you can see here. The final sun lamp will be set to blue. Its strength will be a bit higher than the red sun lamp, but lower than the main one, and its angle I'll set to 35. Now, see these colors within the shadow? That's what we wanted. So it's not one dark version of the material, but it's a mixture of different colors that you set the sun lamp to. So you could obviously set it to pink, yellow, or whatever you want. All right, this scene will be up on the water and diamond spoon tier list on the Patreon if you're interested, but never mind that. In this scene, I want to add a light on the door coming in the direction of the window next to it. However, when I bring an area light in the scene, it not only lights up the door, but it also lights up the walls and the floor, and I don't want that. So, an easy fix to this is to add some fake lighting using the node editor. For this, I'll use a gradient node, not this diffuse node, because as you can see, it's not working. Okay, so I'll bring in a gradient node and control T it. If you can't control T it, you need to enable the node triangular add-on. After that, I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis and move it slightly so that it matches the lighting coming from outside. And now, all I need to do is plug this tree into the factor of a mix color and set the A socket to the door's shadow color and the B socket to the door's light color. And there we have our fake lighting. Now, to make it even more convincing, I want to add a small light on the floor in the same area roundabout to the light of the door. So I'll bring in a point light, widen the radius a bit, and then set its specular setting to zero. And now we have a light that does not reflect off the floor, but also makes the door lighting fit in nicely. For the next method, I have a nature environment and it looks okay, but it could use something else to make it pop more. A very simple solution would be to make the world seem larger, and the easiest way to do that is to add more shadows. And there we go! The meshes shedding these shadows are just rectangles angled upward to block some of the sun, and it affects our scene in a very positive way. It adds more contrast, and it seems like the environment is larger than it actually is. It makes it seem like there are mountains behind this hill over here, or trees or something. To explain it further, I have a forest scene over here, and it's lit up with different pockets of light that makes it seem like the trees have leaves at the top, and the light is shining through those leaves. However, the thing doing that is just a large plane I subdivided, and then deleted many of its faces. See, when I hide it, the scene looks entirely different, and when I have it, it's greatly improved. I literally just subdivided this plane, and then went to the select option and chose select random, and then deleted all those faces, the option selected. Okay, and those were the three methods I would recommend someone trying to improve their anime scene use. You could obviously combine these methods or you could use them separately. Thanks for everybody on the Patreon for making these tutorials possible. And I hope to see you guys on the next tutorial, inshallah. But that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one. Alright, bye.